Grenada's Prime Minister presents a $1.15 billion budget for the next fiscal year. And in sports, four new players called up for Barbados Pride ahead of the third round of the WICB's Professional Cricket League. I'm Nicole Best with the Caribbean in 10 for Wednesday, November 26. I'll be back with the details after the break. We are on Facebook. Join the growing current vision community today. Go to www.facebook.com forward slash Vision. Be a part of our online family, whether you are located in Canada, the USA, or even farther away. Carib Vision is about what it means to be from the Caribbean, our culture, our lifestyles, our voices. Log on or switch us on. Carib Vision. Grenada's Prime Minister Dr. Keith Mitchell is reporting fiscal growth in 2014. He was presenting the country's $1.15 billion EC dollar budget for 2015. He says increased economic activity and improved tax administrations are among the reasons for the country's good fiscal performance in the first 10 months of 2014. In terms of budget support, Mr. Speaker, for the homegrown program, we have already received $75 million. We anticipate receiving another 23 to 28 million dollars by the end of this year. Mr. Speaker, recurrent spending has been restrained, allowing us to invest significant more in our capital programs, which represents the good side of our budget. We are confident, Mr. Speaker, that we'll meet our targets under the homegrown program for the end of the year. St. Vincent's Prime Minister Dr. Ralph Gonzalez says he does not know how Liat plans to streamline his operations. Gonzalez was responding to speculations about staff cuts at the airline. He says, however, shareholders are aware of the board's plans to improve operations and make the company more viable. There are um, savings to be made on a proper utilization of human resources. And it is the business of management to have a plan in that regard. The other matter on which we had already given instructions as shareholders is to, as part of the drive to make the airline more competitive, viable, is to reduce with a view to eliminate the, what you may call the social routes, the non-profitable routes. So you're dealing on the one side with expenditure and you're dealing on the other side with revenue. Liat announced recently that it will be reviewing its overall operations next year to ensure greater efficiency. Since the announcement, there has been speculation of staff cuts, but a recent statement from the airline says there is no basis for such speculation. In Dominica, former Attorney General Bernard Wilshire and four others will return to court in February, that's on the 5th of February, after the state reinstated charges linking them to an alleged passport scam. The case was discontinued earlier this year after Magistrate Ali Gill struck out the matter for want of prosecution. But when the accused appeared in court earlier this week, they were slapped with several charges over the incident, which the state alleges took place between 2005 and 2006. Wiltshire is charged with conspiring to obtain a Dominica passport under the name of Eunice Abraham between June 2005 and September 2006. Two Guyanese women in separate incidents were recently intercepted at a United States airport after attempting to smuggle cocaine into the country. Both women traveled from Guyana on Caribbean airline flights. More in this report from Neil Marks of Capital News.
Last Friday, Trisha Ann DeGuerre was arrested at New York's John F. Kennedy Airport for trafficking cocaine. She traveled on a Caribbean Airlines flight out of the Chaddy Jagan International Airport. At the JFK Airport, Elsa, a trained detective dog, alerted officers to a black and brown suitcase. That alert signaled that there might be narcotics in the bag. The bag was allowed to go through the baggage claim area so law enforcement could see who it belonged to. When the girl picked up the bag, she was pulled in for questioning and the suitcase was searched, revealing over six kilograms of cocaine in a plastic bag. The woman said she was expecting to be paid 10,000 US dollars for the cocaine by someone she had arranged to hand it over to in New York. Trisha Ann DeGuerre remains in custody in New York. And now last Saturday, another woman, Frederica Coates, was also held at the JFK airport after arriving on the Caribbean Airlines flight from the Chaddy Jagan International Airport. At the New York airport, she was selected for a custom search. She had four bags, including a plastic bag with five hardcover books. An officer examined the books and found they were unusually thick, and so she was escorted to a private area, and as the officer checked the books properly, a white powdery substance was noted and later tested positive for cocaine. The amount of cocaine weighed at almost two and a half kilograms. When we come back, we take a look at sports. Traveling the Caribbean has never been easier or more convenient. Go to liat.com for super savings on fantastic Caribbean destinations. Click on the specials page for the latest promotions and fantastic deals. Go to the quick reference button for travel tips and baggage info. Sign up for travel insurance, which covers your entire trip. And sample Zing, our in-flight magazine with news and features on people and places. Just go with liat.com. Hello sports fans and welcome to today's coverage of the National Collegiate Disc Golf Championships from North Augusta, South Carolina. We're proud to begin yet another broadcast season here on the Beat Sports Network. There they are, your National Collegiate Disc Golf Team Champions, Georgia Regents University of nearby Augusta. And the traditional champions plunge into the upper pond for Georgia Regents will complete their 2014 NCBGC experience. Discarded West Indies pacer Tino Best is among four players called up by Barbados Pride selectors for the third round of the Professional Cricket League starting Friday. They will replace four members of the team travelling with the regional side for the tour of South Africa. The others are former skipper Ryan Hines, Kyle Cobbin and Royston Chase. They replace Craig Braffitt, left arm spinner Suleiman Ben and fast bowler Kimar Roach and Jason Holder. Braffitt, Ben, Roach and Holder are due to leave the Caribbean on Sunday with the West Indies senior team for the three test series against the South Africans. All rounder Carlos Braffitt will take over the captaincy of the Pride from Braffitt. Four young cricketers from Bermuda have been selected by the International Cricket Council, the ICC, to attend a high performance training camp in Barbados next month. They will join five Canadians and three players from the United States. They will play three 2020 matches and two 50 over games. The camp will include fitness testing and skills training components, as well as opportunities to work with West Indies coaches and past players. Bermuda Cricket Board President Lloyd Frey says he is pleased that the local youth program is producing international quality players who are being offered performance opportunities by the ICC. Trinidad and Tobago's Soka Princesses enter their final phase of preparation for Crucial Decider. The team is hoping the support of their home crowd will propel them into the 2015 Women's World Cup for the first time. The, so the Soka Princesses face Ecuador in the second leg of their playoffs at the Hazley Crawford Stadium on December. And that's the Caribbean in 10. Join us at 6.30 for Caribbean Newsline. <laughs>